Aries and Cancer. This is for the full moon and Scorpio reading. And, you know, as usual, I have to start um, announcing things on the beginning of my video. So thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. That's how it goes, right? And we'll, um, we'll say that, and then we'll say, and then we'll say, I'm like, we'll say that, and then we'll say, um, my spiritual healing boxes, whoever wants to order one, they're available now. They are in the shipping included in the U.S. They're 70 bucks, and they have Sage Palo Santo, four crystals, a Zodiac thing with little crystals in it, just so you guys can see here, okay? A candle for setting an intention, I heal, I put healing powers into it, really do. I sit and I meditate and I pray over all the boxes before I send them out. The sage is blessed, the Palo Santo is blessed, um, and I charge everything under the full moon and they come in this pretty little box that you can keep your stuff in. And um, it's really my energy put into that box. So if you want to order one, um, you can check at the bottom of these videos on the comment sections or in the description and you'll see the information for that. I only have like 12 left, like 10 or 12. I think 10 now because two people just ordered one each. So um, probably 10 now, right? I usually make about 35 because I'm doing it on my own. It becomes overwhelming. But for, as for that, my website, Private Readings Mediumship is available. I'm stepping into the mediumship role, you guys. Private Readings, I can do pre-recorded tarot readings. That's on there for now. But once I fully like let go of the tarot, it's going to be only mediumship. So for now, I'm going to do as much tarot as is needed, as asked by my spirit guides, and then from there, I'm going to move to the mediumship, so, you know, soon, um, I just want you guys to know that, okay, and I want to thank you for all the love, the donations, your time, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, I read them all, guys, I love them so much, thank you, even the, all the messages you send me, but everybody tried to at least send me messages in, on the comment sections in YouTube or on Instagram, and try not to do too much of the DMs and the private messages, because a bitch ain't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had the, all the time in the world, but I don't. Um, I'm doing a lot, right? So, okay, like I said, thank you for, for supporting me in every way that you guys do. I appreciate it. I do this full time. This is my job. This is my mission. My mission, okay? All right, so we're going to do Scorpio. This is for the full moon in Scorpio. The energy is intense. People are going to be tense. The full moon in Scorpio reveals secrets and people start finding out things that you won't like all the time, right? A lot of the times you won't like some of the things you'll hear. But remember, the full moon in Scorpio always brings about a lot of information and it's overwhelming sometimes. So you got to take your time, okay? Really take your time and focus, all right? Ugh. That watermelon one is trash. The mint one is tastes like pepper and going down my throat. I don't know. I'm trying different ones because I don't want to do the nicotine too much. So I'm trying to do less, but I'm stopping these two because I don't like I don't like the way it makes my chest feel like I'm, I quit smoking Newports for a reason. Okay, guys, love and I to you all. I love you guys and thank you for everything you do and thank you for being with me on my journey and for allowing me to be myself, express my emotions because through my emotions you see your own and I feel the collective's emotions a lot. I pray for everybody a lot, constantly, 24-7 in my mind. I'm like, please, God, please, God, please. Like, and I don't say, please, God, do it for me. I'm like, help me do it. <laughs> Okay, what's interesting, when I was pulling for the Scorpio and I was meditating on your energy, um, I got I pulled card number 6 and 12. Now 6 times 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, right? So we got 6 and 12 here, and we got the divine physician and the scribe. So what I'm getting for you is somebody who's definitely a healer and can work with plant medicine or something like this, and it feels like you need to step into that role. And if you've been feeling like you're a healer, you've been been told you're a healer, You've been feeling that 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 urge to like heal people or do something like this in this nature. Um, you're basically being told right now that you are and that's that you're not crazy and that you really do feel like you need to be doing that. And that's why you've been attracting so many like low vibrational people or you've been in relationships that were a little low vibrational because you were you're a healer and healers attract broken people. Right. Um, healers attract broken people. And a healed person attracts another healed person to be in their energy. So what I'm telling you is that. You have the characteristics, the traits of a healer, and people come to you for advice and for healing and for things that they need all the time because that's what you are. You're a healer, okay? 
Grizzly bear power. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads me. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. Tell yourself that every day, okay, Scorpio? Really tell yourself that every day because it's like a big message for you there. You need to tell yourself that every single day. Repeat that affirmation, okay? Scorpio. Everybody's getting this card, okay? Everybody's getting this card. Everyone has gotten the King of Swords so thus far. Like, cutting things out that don't serve you, right? The King of Swords energy. Someone who just finally says, like, I'm standing, I'm standing up. So it's family. For a lot of you, it's friends and family, because the Three of Cups comes up. Maybe you're cutting somebody out who was maybe cheating on you, or, or there's a third-party situation involved here. Um, maybe you're, you're, like, cutting that toxicity out of your life, okay? Yeah, say that affirmation every day because it's great. Um, there's some toxicity in your life. And it's like you're being called to go towards, like, your divine, the divine physician. Like, I mean, the healer, right? You're being called to step more into the healing um, vibration. And I have these candles with the Lord's Prayer on it. And I'm looking at it, and it's like a picture of Jesus and whatnot. And then, like, I'm looking at this one, and, like, the picture looks similar. But it's, like, somebody who's, like, I'm seeing, like, long hair and, like, I don't know, just... Like that real regal energy, right? <clears throat> and I do see you like taking control of something and moving on. Finally taking the reins and taking control. I do feel somebody's cutting <clears throat> family out, okay? And like moving forward. Like I don't know how this is, what way you're going to be doing that. But it's going to be very valuable to your life here, okay? Um, it's You're running towards something that's important to you. And you're seeing yourself like really hold on to a different value maybe you're changing the way you think your morals and you're examining things more you're looking into the way you're going to do things Scorpio like you are wondering like how can I change this up or make my life feel more relaxed and comfortable because as of now it might be like some kind of like indec indecisiveness going on but like and this could have to do with business or something stepping up but there's something that ended here and it looked like it was very conflicting and you're walking away from it now and you're finally stepping up and you're saying what you need to say and you're not accepting love from people who don't give you the love back anymore, okay? And it's going to make you happy once you decide that, but you got to understand this is taking patience and with patience, you're going to move forward from it. Whatever you've been crying about or worried about, I see there you making a decision to let go of the past because you've been holding on to it for too long. Your emotions have been all over the place and you're trying to get them under control. Get, getting more grounded and stop carrying the burdens of others because those burdens are taking you to that next level here where you're just needing to let these burdens go because the way you're stepping into this empress energy it could be your mother you're, you're worried about you or you're like a mother and you're worried that you're not gonna be able to do things but there's something here with a new beginning your finance is changing with business okay and it's like you can't see it right now but it's going to lead you to the king of pentacles energy and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and something that you're going to leave from is going to change the day whatever you just make this decision on that you've been patient with um, and like this could be anything right like patience with something that was just like getting too much it was just overwhelming it was a lot right and it's like now you're finally clearing that up like you're just not going to hold on to this pet whoa uh, you gotta be kidding me. I look up on YouTube and there's two, two people in that room with 11 likes, okay? Two, two, one, one. <laughs> I mean, really, balance and spiritual awakening coming in. That's amazing. That's amazing and amazing. Ooh, Scorpio, that was a lot. Okay, so Scorpio, it's like whatever you're, you're whatever you decide on next is going to change the dynamic. It's going to change your future. You're going to be doing better because of it. So whatever you've been holding on to is going to let you go here now. Whatever you've been like split from or, or went away from is going to take you to the next place in life. Which is you don't even know that this is your spiritual awakening moment. If you just broke up with somebody, if you were married, if you there was drama and a lot of conflict there. This, le like, this separation of the two energies, because I'm seeing two energies they're showing me. And like they're bouncing off of each other. Like they were coming together for a while and then it just something just stopped and was like, this is not the direction that you need to be going in. It's nice. It was nice. It was lovely. But I got to separate from it. Okay. All right, Scorpio. And it's going to take you to the next level. And if you really, really want your, you want to enlighten yourself and you want to like be more spiritually in tune with your higher self, sometimes you got to break free from things that are holding you back. And if you could think some, you're in love with someone, I 
That was the person for me. If the universe separated it, it's because it was supposed to happen. If you got separated from something, it was supposed to happen. I need you to understand that. I know it's hard. I've been there. Trust me. Trust me. When things didn't work out, I felt like a failure. I should have made it work. I could have done this. Could have, should have. No, the universe is saying no matter what you did, it wasn't for you. Okay? All right. Let's step into the next energy. Let's step into Aries energy. And then we got Cancer. And then I'm going to tune in later and do the rest of the signs. But for now, I'm doing them because I have to give myself time in between to, um, to do uh, private clients. So... I do lives whenever I can, you guys, and I'm grateful to. But please turn your notifications on so that when I go live, you don't miss it, okay? Because when the notifications are not on, I'll go live and you won't see it. What that means is you got to go on your phone in the settings and go to YouTube or Instagram and t and turn the green thing on, allow notifications so that when I go on your phone, it will show up in the front of your phone, you know what I mean? And have the, the thing. That's what I do when I really want to watch something, okay? All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the Aries. Please, what messages do we have for our Aries spirit universe? Love and light and energies only, please. Love and light energy, please. Protect me and my viewers from any negative energy. May you bring peace and blessings into all of their homes, their children, their parents, the health, the finance, the abundance, please. We ask you. Oh, okay. And they are offering you that right now, Aries. They are offering you that right now. At this moment, they're asking you to separate yourself from things that don't serve you. And I'm going to say this really, really, really. If there's something or someone or people, and I'm seeing a Gemini here. I'm seeing a Pisces, a Taurus, a Virgo. There's something that you're holding on to here very tightly here. And it feels like you're just going to like flourish this is going to bring about a celebration and whatever conflicts that you're going through right now there's some conflict i see that all around you maybe somebody's helping you or, or like if you're taking money or energy or anything from somebody who's like you know there's something here with like us you have you gotta do everything when we're first healing we have to do everything on our own so that we can learn to struggle we can learn to get ourselves back up on our feet so i don't know what this message is for aries but if there's something here that's like, it's bringing you like a low vibrational feeling and you know it's wrong, you feel it's wrong, but you're still doing it, that to me signifies that you need to break free from all of this and just allow the process of the universe to take you where it may lead you. Because if you're holding on to things from the past, no matter how that is done, I'm looking at this, somebody could be sending you money or you could be um, taking, accepting help from somebody that you shouldn't be from lightly, somebody that you should be breaking loose from and free from completely, but you're still taking that energy from them. And I gotta say that's causing more karmic, um, energy. So it's like you needing to break free. You need to tap out of this energy of feeling like you have to rely on, on, like you have to rely on people. Like it's like, you're not, you're not speaking your truth. You're not saying what you need to say because I almost like choked on like, I don't know what just now it was like spit went down the wrong throat. I couldn't like speak my mind and I couldn't speak what I want to speak. If you're holding back feelings and emotions and you're not saying everything that you need to say, this is going to keep you with resentments. Remember that. That's why I tell people right away. If they make me feel a certain way, please don't do that because it makes me feel really annoyed. Because guess what? If I don't, then I'm walking away. And now I'm annoyed by you. And I don't even say nothing about it. I'm going to stay annoyed with you. You're going to be in, like, in my bad energy vibration. And I'm going to think of you as like, um, how do you do that with your children's father? Easy. I did it with my daughter's father. I separated the fact that, you know, he gave me my child. I'm happy. I'm grateful for it. Me and you, <clears throat> the only thing we have to do is when we talk, it's about my daughter and blah, blah, blah. He blah, blah. We get along. I get along with his new wife. I treat her with respect. His life and my life don't. We were together at one point, and it's a. To, it's just it, the past is the past. I cannot look at anything. I don't get jealous, mad. None. Of, I never did because we didn't work out for a reason. And I started to understand that when I started to heal my forgiving and letting go and recognizing that God had to put two people together to create something. Right. I had to be with Him to create my daughter. And I'm grateful and thankful for that. At the time, I was resentful and hateful, thinking, well, well, maybe why did I my marriage have to fail? What did I do wrong? And what what the fuck is wrong with him? And, and then I started to see that it was just, this is the journey that I was supposed to go on. 
And I cannot hold on to hatred or resentment or anger with anyone because sometimes I hold on to resentment and anger, but now I started to express my feelings and let them know, listen, and I know you're, if you're a baby mom right now and you're watching this and you're listening, you're going, I needed to hear this. If you have a baby's daddy who's not responsible, do yourself a favor to save yourself headaches, asking them to help you with money, help you with finances. I'm not the type of person who likes to deal with officers and law, but when you have to do it, you do it. You go to court, you collect your child support, and that's it. Final. There's no arguments, and that's it. If you doesn't, he doesn't want to pick up his kids every other weekend, that's on him. Let him deal with his own karma. You do what you need to do as a mom. You be and same things goes with the dads. If she's if she's not in the life and you're taking care of it, collect that child support, man. Everybody do things the easy way. Don't have no headaches. Let it's like let your servants take care of you, right? If you think about it, the um, courts are now your servants. Like they're gonna do all the work. They're gonna collect the money. You don't gotta deal with the headaches. You don't got those are your servants. You know all those people that work like police officers. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying they're your servants. They, they do service you. You do pay taxes to um, to pay police force and all that. So basically, yeah, they work for us, right? So I got to tell you that because you need to understand that this is your world and you have your worker, your this, your that, your that. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. You know, let the world work for you instead of you working for the world constantly, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So it's like Aries, it's like letting go of some conflict is going to be important for you. Um, especially when it comes to love, it's like I need you to be more vulnerable is what they're saying. I need you to be more vulnerable, more open, more more open to love, nurturing, and realness. Like, and stop, stop surrounding yourself with these crazy thoughts in your head. You know what I mean? Like, there's some thoughts in your head that might, might keep you hauled back and tied up. You got to free that, okay? Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind, don't be so shallow, okay? I can't search. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for all the signs, of course, obviously. Um, always, but um, let's do Cancer now. So the energy of the Cancers are in today. And they will be for this full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. I know, I saw that. <laughs> but, you know, we gotta, we gotta, everything that's, listen, remember, when we're, when we're accepting things, thank you for the donation. Um, I can't see the name. One second. I just want to shout it out. One second. Who's that? Okay. TT's Healing Journey. Thank you, my darling. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Value that. Thank you so much. Um, I, I learned something at a point in my life at a time when I wasn't doing that well financially. I was getting help from, like, you know, I had friends. Like, I had guy friends, obviously. You know, just because you're not sleeping with them and you're accepting their money in any type of form or way. So whoever needs to hear this, you've got sugar daddies or baby daddies or, I mean, whatever, sugar daddies and all that. I got to tell you, cut the ties with them all because that's all karma you're carrying, okay? So I, I, I would just be like, no, thank you. <laughs> I got it because that's all energy. Money is energy. Whatever you invite to your life with energy, it's going to... I don't have... Guess what? I'm free. Do I, do I have to work a little harder? Yes. Do I have to focus a little harder, save more money and sacrifice things? Yes, I do. But guess what? I don't owe nobody nothing. I'm free from ties energetically financially emotionally did anybody just see that orb did anybody just see that it flew right there goes another one did you see it right in front of me that was beautiful so when you let go of all those energetic ties you see fairies in my video i've heard that so many times my god fairies love me right because like i'm a little fairy right except for i'm tall right Why am I saying this to you guys? Honestly, because I, I love you and I'm here to help people heal. Not to stay in that same energy. When I've let go and cut ties with everybody that was literally from my past, you know, and it, they didn't have to all be let go in an angry way. But there were some people that I had to be like, look, it's we can't be friends anymore. I can't be in your life. We can't be. There's people. But then there's people that I love as family, not just like, you know, I have energetic ties to them in a lovingly way. No, no karma. I don't need to do it. If I choose to be friends with somebody, I'm speaking to you for you. I am you right now, talking to you, telling you what you already know. You got to understand that you have to find this love within yourself to the point where you understand those people that are not valuable to your life in healing, 
I'm not talking about financially and none of that. I'm talking about emotionally, physically, mentally. If they're not val putting val adding value to your life, they must go. They must all go. Thank you for the for the help that you've given me, but I need to do this on my own. Because it's like being enabled by a stranger is going to make it worse for you. And I gotta tell you that because once I once I cut off all those people, I had friends, girls that were in love with me that would be like, I'll send you money, I got you. I cut all that. And when I did, I knew, okay, I have to make this on my own. And I started to do it. And little by little, I started to work and do what I got to do. I'm going to make a YouTube video also showing people how I started this journey so that people can, um, you know, learn from it. Because, you know, I want everybody to succeed in life, right? So sharing my knowledge will not make me less successful. It will make me more successful. All right. Cancer. Beautiful. Ooh, cancer. Hello. The journey in the Akashic field. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm seeing the tree of life, the Akashic field, the library of Akashic information. So I feel like for cancer, it's like your your past lives are tuning into whoever you're, you are watching. You do not have to be a cancer to resonate with this right now. If you're watching, this message is 100% for you. If you're here right now and you're like, I'm not a cancer, I'm just watching. This message was for you. That's why you're here watching. The Akashic field. Archangel Metatron is the Akashic field holder right the, the 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 holder of information of your past lives your soul your soul's journey and i see the tree of life here and the willow and i see this beautiful tree and it's got that light forming around it if you can see that light forming around that tree it's like the tree of knowledge here and there's a bird on top of it it looks like a hawk and this water look at that water oh my it's glistening it's beautiful it's gorgeous Look at the water. It's glistening, gorgeous. It's like, that's where you would find fairies, right? That's where you would find the magic, okay? It takes balls. It takes guts to believe in the magic of life. To believe in angels and fairies and God. It takes balls. Any any person could just be like, I don't believe in nothing. I believe in me. I believe in money, right? But those of us who... Are like I believe in God. I believe in it and mermaids. I believe there's unicorns. Listen, there's a reason why we believe all that. We've seen it before. We're not crazy. We've seen it in a lifetime before, Cancer. So whatever your mind is, wherever it goes, here, there, everywhere, you know what you saw because you've seen it before. This is not the first time you've seen it, and you don't have this information, the Akashic information. And I'm totally channeling right now, so I'm gonna rewatch this because this reading is amazing. The Akashic records that you're holding within you, the wisdom, the ancient knowledge, and the and the the, uh, the 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 content and the information that you're holding within you is like a I'm hearing like a do 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 do. It's like a like you know this stenogram, what she called the stenogram, right? The stenographer in the courtroom, and she types like short words for the long sentences. This is what I'm seeing you like. You have taken your short parts of your past lives and they've all connected into this lifetime and when you got in here you created content and you created information and wisdom enough to learn for this lifetime so you can process this journey and do it differently it's going to take you to the next level this journey is telling you to go to distance go the distance um, and really stay in touch with the here and now. This is the moment you need to stay with because all your past lives are there not for you to keep living in them, but to take the informational from the information from the sources and gather it and retrieve it and keep it here and use it for your good. Use it for good for you, for the universe, for the collective, for humanity. Use the, you know, be a healing, helpful individual for the earth by healing and helping yourself. Because you are asking yourself so many questions right now. Why this? Why that? You want peace in your life. You want your life to be peaceful and loving and kind and caring. And I'm getting like teary eyed here. So you've been asking yourself this. But there's something that's not for you. And if you see it's not for you and it's so much pain and so much drama. And you keep suffering from it. And you keep, it's not your problem to fix can I sit here and tell you, I'm here to tell you, this isn't your problem to fix. You're trying so hard to fix everybody around you that you can't take fucking time to yourself. 
if you think that that is normal, then that is a trauma-based mentality. It is not normal for you to not feel like you can have time to just focus on you but instead you have all these influences of everybody around you telling you this and that and you really think you really think that that's the way it should be it's not what's so hard about believing in peace and going to achieve it and attain that peace what's so hard about believing that you deserve to be happy and peaceful because you got put into situations that are chaotic and tumultuous tumultuous and you feel like this is where you're at and this is where you belong that's not where you're at and that's not where you belong you belong somewhere where you feel deep down in your heart it's like where you feel like you're back home with peace and love and we all come from the light and then some of us choose to go to the darkness and some of us choose to stay in the light some of us choose to go from the darkness to the light and the point is, your journey is your journey, and their journey is their journey. You fix you to stop trying to fix everybody else. Because until I started focusing on me and then recognizing that focusing on me was going to lead to everybody else healing, my life got better. My life changed. And I'm going to say it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. And I'm always going to try to make it perfect because I'm a Virgo. But I got to tell you right now, we can't make life perfect. We can only try our best. And really enjoy and enjoy life and really smile more and let go and be more kid fr kid friendly, I was saying. Be more happier and recognize that your past carries a lot of ancient wisdom, a lot of things that you know here that you're needing to understand. You're on this journey here. And amazing, you got the seven of roses, the journey. That's amazing, right? You got the one of forces, the Akashic field, right? And then you got the two of forces, right? The willow. So you got one, two, and seven. The number one, the beginning, right? Beginning. Where it all began, the Akashic field, where it all began. Where all the knowledge and wisdom and information began inside of you. Number two, the number of balance, the force that's coming along to create balance, to get yourself grounded in touch with nature, Mother Earth. Get around the water, meditate. And number seven, the journey, right? The journey. This is high, like connecting to your higher power. Number seven is the number of the higher power. So connecting to your higher power, your source, your higher self. It's going to be very valuable for you, okay? So that is my messages for today. Love and light to all you guys. I'm going to get some meditation. And like I said, if you guys want to order some spiritual boxes, there's still about 10 or 15, 10 or 12 available. I'm not exactly sure, but um, whoever come, first come, first serves, I'll do them again next month. But for now, I, I can't like keep up with the orders by myself, so I have to do like 30 at a time. Otherwise, it gets overwhelming. Prior readings and pre-recorded have been put up on my website. I've changed some stuff around, so go check that out. I'm going to be doing group classes where it's going to be $20 a class for an hour each, right? And it's going to be three times a month. I'm going to put that up. When I put it up, if you can... Please, I'm sorry, not $20, $10 a class for an hour each, and it's going to be three classes. So $30 for the month for you to join the classes. It's not a subscription. You're not bound to it. If you want to cancel and come to the next class, you can. I work with people. I'm fine with it, right? But we're going to do that because everybody's asking the same questions, and I'm answering them separately. So I'm going to have one place where you all can come to, and we could all work together, okay? This week, I will do um, tarot and um, pick people to read and, uh, you know, send donations and we'll do pre like you send it before and I'll put you on a list. Okay. And we'll do some mediumship as well. Okay. So love and light to you all. I'll see you guys later. I will put the rest of the signs up coming up. Um, like I said, when I have time today or later, whatever. But I love you guys. Love and light to you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Open, open end contracts at the best. Yeah. Are the best. Yes. Well, could you do the reading? Could could this reading apply to other signs? A hundred percent. Never ever think that because you're not a cancer, what I just said wasn't for you. If you were in here and you're not the sign, or you watching this later and you're not that sign, and you're going, wait, this sounds like it. I watch readings and if I hear something, I'm like, wait, what? That sounds like me. And I'll keep watching it. Because sometimes it's not about the sign. They don't work with signs, you know. The universe doesn't work with signs, time, or space. You know, that doesn't even exist in the realms. We do that as humans, you know, to kind of like get a 
a perspective and, and more structure, right? So love and light to you guys. I'll see you guys later. Um, thank you for the donation, whoever that was. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Love and light to you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.